Welcome to today's full day of eating. Today we kicked off with an early gym session. We did actually also start off the day with a coffee, which I'll put on screen. It was the almond iced coffee. Then we used that as pre-workout and went to the gym, which we walked, because I'm now a pedestrian now. For those of you that follow me on Instagram, you know I got rid of my car. Anyways, as for the first main meal of the day, what we're doing is a high protein and high fiber meal. It just tastes great and it helps me hit my protein intake a lot better on days when I have cereal. basically you just make a regular protein shake like you normally would and instead of just using normal milk just use the protein shake as the actual liquid obviously you have to find the right flavor that goes with which i find that the cereal milk flavor goes perfectly with the old brand it makes it nice and sweet i'll put the calories on the screen but adding the protein shake just allows it to be a lot more high protein because i do like having like a high fiber cereal at least three times a week but on those days because typically before i started adding the protein it made it basically every single day like i'd have went into 30 grams less protein because one of my meals wasn't high protein so yeah people that's the first meal quick and simple if it kind of helps the audio come out a lot clearer anyways people i'm gonna eat this now chill for a bit probably go on my treadmill do my um, actual cardio about walking steps watching youtube <laughs> Right, Pete, so the next meal, I've just shown you what we're gonna have. The only new kind of addition probably is these whole wheat bagels, which taste delicious. Typically, you know, I have the onion and chive one, or even the cinnamon bagel one, but this is delicious. I naturally always assumed that these were gonna be dry, but it just so happens that on the shelf, they were in front of the chive one, so I picked them up to move. As soon as I picked them up, my fingers sunk into them because they're pretty soft, and they are really, really moist on the inside, which is surprising, and they taste great. Each bagel is 10 grams of protein as well and a fair amount of fiber. So yeah, these are probably my go-tos now, to be honest. I love the taste and it's lower calories than the others. Then we have the duck eggs. These eggs are really, really tasty. These duck eggs are super, super tasty and they are fairly big as well. I've checked the calories because I'm my fitness pal. You're going to notice that when you see on the screen, I've put like 0.8 five of an egg and it's simply because whoever logged them on my fitness pal they put down that each egg is 163 calories and this is a good lesson actually to teach you guys when i add something new into my diet i always check the calories and it was saying on my fitness pal that one egg of these is 163 calories which i thought was a lot higher than it should be so basically i checked and long story made short is whoever put them on my fitness pal what they did was they put in the macros for a full 100 grams which is wrong so basically after weighing out each egg on my uh, my scale each egg averaged out to 85 grams which is why I put in my fitness pal 0.85 of, of an egg so I know for now on that is basically what's in the actual egg just wanted to share that with you guys because some people forget that you do have to like check the macro sometimes when you're using these apps don't assume that everything is correct straight away because a lot of the things that's been put on there humans like you can actually add a new product to my fitness pal if you scan something brand new you can actually add it into the things so that's probably what happened whoever added it in just assume that whatever was on the inside, the 100 grams, was per egg when it wasn't. So things like that can set you up for failure. So always check when you add new things on MyFitnessPal. Here we have it, it's a bagel, well bacon and egg bagel with a whole lot of egg on the side because to be honest, I totally forgot that what I was gonna do with the meal. So when I started making it, I just started scrambling the eggs intuitively, forgetting that I was gonna do it in a bagel. But even still, that's quite a lot of eggs, so it's probably all the egg whites I poured in. So yeah, what I'm gonna do is, well basically, eat the bagel and then have the eggs on the side as a side, I guess. But yeah, macros and calories should be on the screen. I'm guessing it should be at least 45 grams of protein easily in this one meal and that is the trick to having a high protein day full of eating but the most part if you have each meal at least 30 35 grams of protein you're gonna be very close to your goal and then if you need to then have a protein shake or have something on those lines to bump you up if you really need to but obviously if you're a girl watching this probably aim more for each of your meals around maybe 20 grams of protein and that'll probably get you close to your goal as well 
because depending on your size, you don't have to have as much protein, for example, of a man your same size. So yeah, just remember that. And this is on the basis that you have probably around four meals per day. Uh, you may have three, then obviously if you eat, you have to almost increase the quantity than any or have like snacks throughout the day that are also high protein. But in reality, I'm not gonna tell you there's a set amount of meals you need to have in a day, it's not that. But anyways, don't think this audio thing's cool. Like, you can probably hear me clear, right? But literally, hopefully, this should still be working. And I'm walking all the way to the back of my house now. I'm currently standing in my gym. If the audio is still working, that is kind of dope. All right, folks, and here are the supplements I'll probably be having today. So yeah, for the first time ever, basically, being consistent with the creatine, I've probably taken it virtually every single day now for the past, yeah, I think we're touching three weeks now. But in terms of what I'm gonna eat, Right before I go on the treadmill, I'm gonna have one of these fiber bars and the other birthday cake one. These are both on sale. It's like some of my snack corner here, you can see it's quite a bit. Then we're about to go beast on there. We're gonna do eh, probably at least 30 minutes. I've been doing like 30 to like 50 minutes for the past week. Then I'm gonna get back and show you guys the next meal. But right now, I'm gonna go put on my crappy clothes to do my cardio in. I never, ever, and actually for you as well, never do cardio when you're good shit, especially if you're gonna do a fair amount. 10 minutes, that's cool, but if you're gonna do anything more than 30 minutes, it's just gonna get drippy. All right, people, we are now done on the cardio. We did 33 minutes. Um, I'm hear me. 33 minutes, people. Um, so far, it's around 7.30 p.m. And I'm not actually hungry yet. I don't know if it's the heat or whatever, but I'm gonna give it another 20 minutes. If I'm not hungry for like an actual meal yet, I'll probably have a protein smoothie instead. Folks, Mr. Procrastinator is back. I'm actually yet to shower. Just been sitting playing spades on my phone. Um, but I've got it pickish. So we're gonna go for actual food instead of uh, the protein smoothie, which is a plus. Uh, so what I'm gonna go for is, I call them the chicken fillet of steaks. So basically they're very lean, uh, thin cut. They are called ranch steaks. Maybe that's a particular thing. But yeah, they're very trimmed off, not much fat on them. Each one of these is 134 calories, 26 grams of protein, fat is only 2.5 grams, so we are going to have that. This one is the barbecue seasoned one, but I've found that it's not as, um, I think it still needs a little bit more seasoning, like all purpose on top of it. They have like a salt and pepper one, which is fine by itself, but this realistically it just tastes like barbecue sauce on a steak, so I normally kind of add a little bit extra just to freak it. Um, we're going to have it with some corn. I did think that I had some potatoes, but I don't. I must have threw them out because it must have went off. So that is kind of annoying because that was in the plans. I just assumed I had potatoes because I always do, whether it's white or sweet potatoes. But it is what it is. But I will say, I do actually like when this happens just because it shows when you have to like real life, you know what I mean? It shows when you have to kind of freak whatever you have in your house and kind of make things happen. Cause not every single day, unlike what these fitness influencers show you, do you always have your diet completely together? I would say probably at least one out of every 10 days, I will forget what's in my house and I won't go food shopping or something or I won't have time to. And I've just got to mix and match things. So with this, initially I was gonna have the steaks and potato, maybe one piece of corn. At the end of the day, you make it, you do with what happens. The way I always see is that if this is a bad day for me, I can live with it. You know what I mean? Some people, their bad days when they completely just give up on their diet and just head straight to the drive through or head straight to Uber Eats. So it's all about perspective. A lot of people are too hard on themselves over little things. Progress is better than perfection. A lot of people will think if it's not perfect, I might as well just do complete shit. You know what I mean? Like for example, if they mess up on their day slightly, they'll think, oh, it wasn't a perfect day today. I might as well call up KFC, call up Burger King, and just destroy the whole day and start fresh tomorrow or next Monday. Stupid mentality. Stupid, stupid, stupid mentality. The way you have to think this is real life. If you have a little bump in the road, that's what happens. <laughs> you know what I mean? This is fucking life. So at the end of the day, you keep moving forward. Ooh, scratch what I said about the bake. I've just thought of an idea what to do. I have tortilla wraps and I have some salad. Folks, I think we're done. So, ooh, yeah. <laughs> Ended up um, cutting up both the steaks because I felt like most of it could fit in the wrap, which it did. Only have a few stragglers on the side. So, we've got the two corns, uh, we've got the, the beef wrap here. So, this is the meal we're looking at now. Uh, don't worry, my presentation sucks, but the food's always bang. 
But yeah, people, I'm going to eat this now. The only thing I'm, I'm gonna semi annoyed about is that man thought he had cheese, but he ain't got no cheese, bro. <laughs> that must be a meme somewhere, bro, bro. Anyway, yeah, I thought I had cheese in the fridge, but I have no cheese, so I'm going to have to have it just barbecue sauce. Um, I didn't track the sauce, but in reality, if I was going to, the amount that I typically use is around 15 to 20 calories. And yeah, hopefully I'll give you some sort of ideas of what to eat today. But at the bare minimum, at least helps your mindset, man. In these videos, it's not for you to follow exactly what I eat. It's meant to kind of give you little recipe ideas, but overall the mindset of how I approach food. Don't overthink. A lot of you have shit diets, so don't think you have to get 100% perfect. If you're currently at like 30%, Get to having a 50% good diet. When you're at 50%, try and get to 60, try and get to 70. Over 70 is when it starts getting more incremental. Alright folks, and here we have it, as promised after my uh, food, went for something sweet, uh, mainly just strawberries and blueberries simply because the raspberries, they look like they're getting a bit fluffy so I just didn't put them in there, which I'm just going to wash now and then I'm just going to pick at it, I don't tend to like try and binge and eat all. And looking at my fitness pal, we have just reached 1900 calories. And I think we're going to leave it there. Anyways, people, thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, please hit the video with a thumbs up. Anyways, people, see you in the next video. Make a million cash for you flatline. Make a master plan, watch it backfire.